Borderlands 3, all up in the VR. Borderlands 3 right. at UEVR. Well, she. Ain't this some nice motherfucker vacation town? Look at all this. <laughs> Borderlands in VR. Ask that motherfucker for directions, man. We need to meet the guys hey, from the multiplayer. Hey. Hey man, do you know how to get to the nearest town? I gotta meet some guys here for a multiplayer session. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh man, come on, quit your bed making. Fucking asshole, man. I used to save the money on the bus fare. Oh. Oh man, it's the dudes. Oh, hey dudes. Come I on got in, first man. round in. You coming in? I got a pitcher beer. <sighs> yeah, uh. Damn, this isn't the kind of shots I was expecting up in this bar. Motherfucker. Fuck. Fuck. You're fucking shooting at us, man. Man, shut your ass up and run. Mother. Why do I have to play this game with these hey. fucking assholes? <laughs> oh man, you dumb barefoot ass done stepped in some alien dog shit. <laughs> ah, it's a beautiful day, full of opportunity. So, who's coming? Because, man, over here. Yeah. I'm just a hand, but this guy can carry me around, it's all good. Yo, here, me, 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 yeah, me and Ed. Yeah. Pick me, man! Don't pick that big motherfucker! Oh, these guys? A siren warrior from Partero. Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Alright! Let's go! New Vault Hunter, huh? Name's Marcus. You picked a hell of a time to join the Crimson Raiders. <laughs> hey, guys! How's it going? It's your girl. Cartoon Lilith here. Um, yeah, we're here. Anyway, Puddins, if you all big strong men want to play Borderlands 3 in VR with 60 we weapons, motion controls, oh man, got you covered. Alright, easiest goddamn install ever. I'm gonna be out of a job soon. Notice how these tutorials are getting shorter and shorter? Yeah. Anyway, just download the profile. Link in the description. Open up your UEVR. Go to Import Profile. Press Play. Alright, but very important. Import your profile until you see the little claptrap guy. You know when the game is starting up and the game is loading and you see claptrap going across the screen to indicate a loading screen kind of thing? Yeah. Don't press import until you see that little guy there. If you gotta be fast, you gotta do it before he disappears off the screen. 
I don't know why, but you, uh, that's what you gotta do. Alright? Or else the damn scripts won't load. It's, it's a complicated setup in terms of the scripting. Not in terms of what you gotta do. That, that, that part's easy. Yeah. I, I guess you can tell I'm trying to stretch this out to kind of feel relevant. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna go now so you guys can, you know, watch the video and stuff. Lady in my head. Goddess. This is your stop, Paul Tucker. All right, see you on game. No time? Let's have some fun! I try to stay alive. I'd hate to lose a new customer. <laughs> and welcome to Pandora! Hey, you must be the new recruit. I am a CL4PTP steward bot, but you can just call me General Claptrap of the Crimson Raiders! What's your name? Zane. Zane Flint. Thanks. I'll pre-order your tombstone just in case. Now, those jerks who tried to murder you are the Children of the Vault, a bandit cult who follow their creepy leaders with blind devotion. Which reminds me, if you're going to obey my every beck and call, you'll need an Echo device. What's up, Leo? Yeah. Yeah, I'm living that talking head. Coming to you live with Daigo and Purify Games. How are we doing, Daigo? The Echo 3. Slightly more powerful than the Echo 2, and twice as expensive. Besides, the Echo 2 had a tiny issue with spontaneous combustion, so they rebranded those as grenades. Now listen up, recruit. Lilith ordered us to take over a Children of the Vault propaganda center. Time to show those culty weirdos that no one messes with the Crimson Raiders! Follow me, recruit, to glory! Hey, Ed, how's it going? Yeah, it's aight. It's aight. Nothing special. Anyway, what are we doing today, my man? Uh, today we're taking a look at Borderlands 3 UEVR. I'm, before we wreak our righteous vengeance, you'll need to register your Echo at this quick change. Once we defeat the cult, I'll be famous! And when I'm signing autographs, I need you looking sharp while defending me from my legions of fans slash stalkers! Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, but this isn't a, a run-of-the-mill UEVR implementation. And, uh, you know, I don't want to say that lightly. N nothing is run-of-the-mill. Ah, <laughs> uh, a user agreement? Well, the propaganda center is this way! But what I mean is, there is a lot more work done on this particular profile. A locked gate? No! This can't be happening! The entire mission is ruined! Think, Claptrap, think! You're brave and powerful, and people always do what you tell them to! That's it! Recruit, get that gate open! That's an order from your superior officer! Under the hood, to get it up and running in VR, and to get it as seamless as possible. This game had a ton of issues when trying to run with UEVR. It was damn near unplayable. UI didn't work, driving, using turrets, these kind of things. You did it! Best recruit ever! Don't get Brought you out of it into a third person perspective and the camera would spin wildly out of control. Most controls did not work. It was a mess, an absolute mess. But a group of talented guys over on the Flat to VR Discord. Jump recruit! <laughs> Most notably Tim Burton, not to be confused with the Alice in Wonderland director. <laughs> The propaganda center is up ahead. Those cultists have been killing crimps and raiders left and right. They totally suck skag balls. But I've got a foolproof plan to kick their culty asses. I hit a weapons cache nearby. Stay quiet and follow my every move. It's stealth time. I'm sure there's some people on the moon who didn't hear that. Relax! On Pandora, it's actually super weird if something's not exploding. Now take your gun, recruit! You're gonna need it. These guns 
guns, like myself, aren't beholden to their primary function. I can dance and sing! And some guns now include an alternate shooting mode. Try it out! Follow me, recruit! I have been working diligently to get this game as close as possible to a native VR experience that you can imagine. And it, there is no exaggeration when I say this is up there with Borderlands 2 VR, the official VR game. This experience is very comparable with that. Very comparable. Oh, cool. So I'm guessing there's a whole lot of extra doohickey in and the uh, jiggery pokery we gotta do to get this up and running, am I right? Actually, no, Ed. Actually, no, that's the good news. I'll talk my way in, become their king, and then you'll surprise slaughter them in cold blood! Watch and learn, recruit! Hello? Anyone there? This is Shen! Only influencer of the children of the vault! What do you want, Crambot? Hello, bloodthirsty maniac! It is I, Claptrap, Slayer of the Destroyer, and Super General of the Crimson Raiders! We have you completely surrounded. Open the gates now, and perhaps I will be merciful. Uh, yeah. Let me think about that. They might call themselves children of the vault, but they're still bandits, and bandits are incredibly stupid. Okay, we're going to surrender. Please don't kill us, Crapi. That's what I thought. Open the doors immediately for your new king. Easy, easy. I'm, uh, I'm coming out. Just wait right there. We did it. I did it. Another victory for the Crimson Raiders. Hey, I feel funny. What's happening to me? For us end users. Yeah, I know you like to use the rear end. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> it's good news for us because all of this extra work, all of this extra .dll's, script files, what have you, plugins, they're all neatly packaged in one easy to install profile. So it works just like any other UEVR profile. You download it, import it, you're good to go, you're ready to play. And as you see on the screen, we have perfectly working 6DOF weapons, head tracking, 3D works now perfectly, UI works, although it's been uh, attached to the hand, which is something other you and your titles haven't done yet. Use this help! I need you alive to save me! Use this ammo to kill the bad guy! So, kudos to these guys. This works amazingly well. Yeah, I'm just in awe of what people can do on that Discord, man. There's a lot of dedicated people out there trying to get these games up and running in VR for us to play. It's just so freaking awesome. <laughs> so, okay, Borderlands 3, what is it? Well, uh, I'm assuming by the number 3 in the title that it's Borderlands Part 3. Well, you would be correct. You may feel incomplete, as though some vital piece of you is missing. Nothing will fill that void. Nothing. Except it's actually the fourth game in the Borderlands series. Oh, here we go with the Dead Island shit again. Yeah, and actually, if you count the spin offs, it's the fifth game. Oh, fuck you, man. Hey, calm down. No, fuck you. Is it Borderlands 3? Is it Borderlands. Motherfucking 5, motherfucking 7? What Borderlands is it, man? Okay. And <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so the entire Borderlands series, it's basically open world, first person perspective, RPG light, it's over the top, it's bombastic, the humor is right up my alley, I love it. Everything is larger than life, everything is exaggerated. All explained away by... I know Claptrap can be a little... Claptrap, but he's still one of us. You're gonna have to save him. I'll be there soon. Taking place on this planet called Pandora. Oh man, with those blue alien 
chicks with the cat ears on the, on the asses. Uh, no, not that, Pandora. But yeah, the whole thing takes place in this alien world. They can get away with it. They have creative license. They can go balls to the wall. They can go absolutely apeshit with this. Now, aesthetically, it's gone for a cell shaded look, which is an art style I happen to love from the... The Wii days, Wii and the GameCube days, which back then was used to, to great effect to get around the limitations of the hardware. But I really dig the art style. I think it's cool. This is that kind of Saturday morning cartoon look and feel. I'll be an R-rated one, but <laughs> oh yeah, it all began with the original Borderlands. Uh, this was kind of an answer to Far Cry. Like Far Cry, especially. Far Cry 2 and onwards, kind of cemented this open world genre for the new way to experience the first person shooter. It revitalized the genre, and there's been many imitators since. That previous video, Dead Island, happens to be one of them, but Borderlands, Borderlands is up there. So okay, you've got this huge open world, it takes a non-linear approach, so missions can be tackled how you choose. You can progress through the story at your pace, you can do side missions, you can do the main missions, all of you. Just like any open world game. What really sets Borderlands apart is number one, the art style, Number two, the humor. Number three, the fantastical elements that were introduced with this planet Pandora and the, the lore and the backstory behind all of that really draws people in. It's a, it's a huge expanse of world. It's, dare I say, it's a world you want to get lost in. It's a world you want to live in. There's no way your supple and delicate body can survive a showdown with Shiv unprotected. Look around for a ship. And now, thanks to you, if you are, you absolutely can. So the original Borderlands released and became a huge hit just because there was literally nothing like it before. This was basically Far Cry on acid. This is what this was. It was a kick in the pants that the first person perspective genre absolutely needed. It was bombastic, it was fun, people just gravitated to it, they loved it. Another huge factor for the success was the multiplayer aspect. You could play the entire game co-op or you could go head to head. A whole lot of fun. So that was followed up by Borderlands 2. More of the same, but it really knuckled down on the storyline, on the characters. It elevated the whole thing to a new level. It was so much fun. Incidentally, Borderlands 2 would go on to receive an official VR port, which we will be comparing Borderlands 3 UE VR to. Borderlands 2 VR port features a level of polish you can expect from an official VR port. You had six degrees of freedom, weapons, tracking, head tracking, stereoscopic 3D, you name it. There might be a shield in that special red chest over there! It was a fully fledged VR title. Now, there was some controversy that some of the DLC was missing, or it was pared down in some way, but with patches and with various additions over the years, Borderlands 2 VR is now pretty much complete. That was followed up by a direct prequel, slash sequel, <laughs> called Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. Essentially it's Borderlands 1.5, or it can be viewed as Borderlands 3, but for whatever reason, it's called the pre-sequel, and it's very much tied to the main storyline of Borderlands 2. You got a shield! Now you're invincible! Not really, but it just might keep Shiv from killing you in one hit! Now let's get you in there, recruit! <sighs> hey, Shiv! All your dumb friends are dead! I challenge you to a trial by combat! But because I'm stuck to this nugget, my loyal champion shall vanquish you in my stead. Come on in, heretic! I haven't met my sacrifice quota for the day! That was followed up by two Telltale games called Tales from the Borderlands and Tales from the Borderlands 2. Now, if you're familiar with Telltale, you'll know they're very, very different to their approach in gameplay. Telltale games are essentially choose your own adventures. It's basically an interactive movie that plays out before you and you're given various choices and depending on what choices you make, the outcome and the storyline completely changes. The most notable titles that they have are Telltale's The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones and Batman. But they've also dabbled in the world of Borderlands also to great effect. The art style and the humor is present and correct. It is very lore friendly. I'm gonna sharpen my blade on your spine! fits right in there with the rest of the Borderlands series. The only difference being, it's no longer a first person perspective and it's no longer a first person shooter. Although, there are gameplay elements sprinkled here and there for the fans. That's a whole lot of fun. And not only that, but it was followed up by the spin-off title, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, which is essentially the Borderlands take on Dungeons and Dragons or Skyrim. This kind of idea in terms of gameplay mixed with tabletop RPG. It's very different, but it retains the humor. And the... Fuck you! Okay, yeah. 
So right around the time Borderlands 2 VR released, Borderlands 3 was announced. So people got kind of excited and said, oh, okay, so we've got Borderlands 2 in VR. Will we get Borderlands 3 in VR? And sadly, that didn't pan out to be the case. For whatever reason, the Borderlands 2 VR didn't sell, or I don't know. I don't know why, but Borderlands 3 never got the VR treatment. So Borderlands 3, it releases on this new engine. It's Unreal 4, not Unreal 3 like the previous games. It takes full advantage of it. The enemy account is higher on screen. The AI has improved, the logic has improved. It is more of the same because that's what people want. You know, if it ain't broke, why fix it? But people are like, man, why can't we have this in VR? <laughs> oh, come on. And then UEVR gets announced, and it's like, oh, hang on, UEVR, Unreal Engine 4. This will work. But it didn't. <laughs> it was one of those titles that just did not work properly with UEVR. That is until now. <laughs> And if you go in the flats of your Discord, you can see the amount of work that they've put in. You can see the progression. Fell all things told. My kind of maniac. But this particular profile is taken. Well, it's a huge undertaking. Score one for the Crimson Raiders. You and Claptrap secure the area. I'm on my way. And you can tell it's a labor of love. These are dedicated fans that want the absolute best Borderlands experience in VR. And yes, of course, they've looked at Borderlands 2 VR and what they've done there for inspiration. Recruit! Are you dead? If not, get me down! The controls are on the second floor! And they have tried to replicate that as best they can, and for, for the love of Lilith, it appears as though they have managed to do it. Now, Tim Burton, the guy basically spearheading this, has said that he has about 95% of the game fixed. As in, all the bugs that were present with the vanilla implementation of UEVR, he's about 95% of the way there. So it is almost complete, you guys. And link in the description for the download and also the Discord where you can stay updated on the progress. And once it's 100% ready, you can get the download there. The magnet controls are on the second floor! So yeah, not much more we can say except I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> this is... oh, yeah. Borderlands, man. Border fucking lands. So I guess we're gonna leave it there you guys, uh, like, comment and subscribe, if you've any thoughts, queries, any critiques, put them down below. If indeed there are any games you'd like to look at VRifying in the future, put those down below and we will presumably get back to you eventually. You can also follow us on TikTok for our adventures over there, which are basically condensed versions of what we do over here. And, uh, yeah, follow us on all social medias, uh, all links will be in the description, so, yeah, looking forward to seeing you there also. Alright, the Fight Games out.